Hello everyone, in this video I will be solving Cambridge A level Information Technology Paper 4 Advanced Practical for the year February March 2022. You have been supplied with the following files and we have to create a folder called examination. I have the files here. Let's create a new folder called examination. and we need to move these files into this folder. All other working files will be saved inside the examination folder. Task 1. Create this logo for a travel company using the file heron.jpg. The logo should be 10 cm by 10 cm with all proportions and colors as shown. So we need to create a logo in this way and the image for the heron is given to us. So if you look at the image, you can see the image is with a light blue background and in the question it is with yellow background. So let's change the background first. For that I will open the image in Photoshop. We need only these details here. So first let's crop the image. So this is the crop image. Now we have to add a yellow background to it. For that first I will remove the blue background and make it transparent. Use the background eraser tool. Use the symbol eraser tool for the small details. Now in order to add the yellow background, I will add a new layer here, add a new layer and for the new layer I will change the background color. So select the new layer and then go to the color options here. 
in that you can see solid color select yellow here do okay now let's move the image layer up so that it will be filled with the background layer So let's save this image. I'll export as a JPG image. Save this as Heron 1 to identify the image. Save. Now we need to create the logo. For the logo I will be using Adobe Illustrator. So let us open Adobe Illustrator. The logo should be 10 cm by 10 cm with all proportions. So let us open a new artboard. Ten centimeter by ten centimeter artboard. First, let's draw a rounded rectangle there. Rounded rectangle with border red color. To create this image, I will open another artboard. Drag the image with the yellow background here. Now go to ellipse tool. draw an ellipse in this way make sure these details are included as given in the question So we have drawn the ellipse over this. Now select both the image as well as the ellipse. Right click. Make clipping mask. So we got the image in this way. Let us give a border, red border as given in the question. Click on stroke. Select red color. Increase the stroke width. Now resize this. When you are resizing, press the shift key and resize from the corner so that the image does not get distorted. Now copy this image, come back to our original logo, paste it here, resize it.
in order to add the text as given here I will again add an ellipse let's draw an ellipse with the same size Now use the type on a path tool from the text tool. Using the type on a path tool, click on the path. And you can increase the size. Also increase the character spacing between the letters. This is character spacing. You can increase that so that the letters are spaced equally on both sides. Now you can click here and slightly rotate it in this way so that the R in the word is placed in the center. Now we need to create a gradient fill for this word. So for the letters or for the text we cannot directly create a gradient. We need to create uh, we need to convert it into an object. So right click select this right click and click on create outlines. Now you can choose the gradient fill. You can choose red here and white at this end and since it is a vertical fill we have to choose 90 degree here and linear and the stroke is black color Now we need to add this text Villa Holidays. All the text should have the same background, uh, background and the outline. So both of them are red. 
uh, white to red with black outline so let's add this text here It's almost in the middle. Now to add the gradient, right click, create outlines. Now you can add the gradient here and the stroke must be black. So this is the required logo. We have to save the logo as SVG format with 10 by 10 centimeter and the name must be Heron V10CM. So let's ex save this file, export as. First we need to save as SVG and the name is around V10 centimeter followed by your center number and candidate number. Save inside the examination folder. Okay. Next we need to save as a bitmap with transparent internal background size 200 pixel by 200 pixel and the name is Heron V200PX. So bitmap transparent means we have to save as a PNG or export as a PNG. So file, export. So click on uh, save for web so that we can give the size. Select PNG24. We can set the width and height to 200 pixel by 200 pixel. After setting the width and height as 200 pixel, make sure transparency is also selected here. Click on save and we need to save inside the examination folder as her own V200 pix followed by your candidate number and center number. So the graphics task is done. Next is the animation task which will be uploaded in another video. Once it's uploaded you can find the link in the description. Thank you for now.